So a couple weeks ago, Leica announced the M11 monochrome, and I was lucky enough to spend a few days with a pre-production copy back in March. So I've known about the camera for a while, I got to check it out early, and I've been waiting for this camera since the M11 launched. Now that it's here, um, actually here, here this time, uh, this is my M11 monochrome that I bought. It's been here for about a week, and because this camera is one that I've been waiting for and one that I'm really, really excited about, I thought I would share as much as I can with all of you. That starts with the unboxing of the camera, and you know I'm not that guy, pal, but I still wanted to go ahead and just record the whole unboxing, let everyone see what's included in the box, just the whole experience. This is YouTube and all. Everything you would expect to be included is in there. You've got your camera strap, your charger, you've got the Leica Photos lightning cable to connect to iPhones with the app, which is really, really useful. It connects immediately and transfers files insanely fast. And obviously the camera body itself, which I already got to see and use the pre-production copy. So it wasn't like opening this up was the first time I got to feel and hold the camera and like, you know, share the first experience or whatever from picking it up. I did kind of talk about it a little bit in the first look video where, you know, the, the actual weight of the camera is different because the black body doesn't have the brass top plate. My silver M11 that I had has a brass top plate, so using that camera and taking it with me everywhere and then going to this, noticing that immediate weight difference, that was something that I wasn't really expecting. And also, I didn't really cover it in the first look video, but the actual physical feel of the camera is a little bit different, just in terms of the texture on the body and even the leatherette as well. This leatherette feels closer to what's on my M6, so it's a little bit smoother, um, but then the camera body itself, the silver M11 that I had was very smooth and didn't have any texture to it where this matte finish on the M11 monochrome, it has just a little bit of a rougher texture to it, which I like because it feels like it adds a little bit more grip. In terms of how this camera is going to wear or show any signs of wear in comparison to the silver, I have no idea. We'll definitely find out because I use these cameras, but the whole look and feel of this camera, I just love everything about it. And speaking on the M11 that I used to have, uh, I did sell that camera to a viewer of the channel. So shout out to Mike up in New York City. I hope you enjoy the camera as much as I did. Um, I sold that camera specifically to buy the M11 monochrome. So I knew one camera, I don't need both of them. Um, I would have loved to you know, shoot some side-by-sides comparing the two. Uh, however, I shipped that camera out to Mike the day that my M11 monochrome arrived. So there you have it. I'm sure there will be other channels and plenty of videos where people will be doing that side-by-side -side test. If you would like me specifically to do it, I'd be happy to do so. I might be able to reach out to my friends at like a USA, see if they can send out a loaner for a little bit. That way I can do, you know, sort of a side-by-side -side comparison video. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make it happen. But yeah, I don't need both. Uh, I want to commit solely to just shooting black and white. Uh, the only color photos I guess I'll be shooting would be like Polaroid film because I still do like to shoot Polaroid film uh, pretty frequently. But day to day, just documenting my own life, anything that I want to work on for projects and making books, uh, just focusing on black and white, that's always where my heart's been. So the monochrome for me makes a lot of sense there. Now, I didn't just buy the M11 monochrome, I also picked up the Visiflex 2. This is a little EVF attachment that just connects through the hot shoe of the camera, giving you an EVF. It basically takes everything you would get from your LCD screen using Live View, and it just puts it in this little electronic viewfinder that you can actually hold up to your eye, and uh, it also tilts a little bit, so you can kind of use it at different angles, looking down into the camera. Um, I had the previous version of the Visiflex with my M10, P a few years ago and I really only used it in like special use cases if I wanted to see through the lens for you know really specific compositions or if I wanted to get a live view of my exposure um, I used it in weddings and portraits and situations like that but day to day I didn't really use it all that often because if I'm just carrying a camera around with me documenting life I really prefer the rangefinder over that but I figured I'd pick one up, give it a shot, and at the very least, I could share my findings here in these videos and uh, maybe help you all decide if this is something that you would want to use for your own camera. 
And while I do prefer this version of the Visiflex, I think it looks great, the improved resolution and everything, I love it. Um, it's still tough to say like who is it for or whether or not it's going to be for you. It's really going to come down to your own personal preference, but it's tricky because, you know, if you're married to the M cameras and you love the rangefinder system, this is a nice bonus. This doesn't completely change the camera or anything. Um, you're still using an M camera. It's still all manual. You just get that bonus of the EVF. If you have trouble hitting focus with a rangefinder or if you're using, you know, like a Noctilux or any of the cameras that have a really fast aperture and you have trouble focusing with the rangefinder, it'll be helpful in situations like that. Um, maybe if you've been using an M camera for years and your eyesight's changing, this is going to be nice to have in certain environments. But if you're just looking for a camera and you know you always are going to be using the EVF and you're never going to use the rangefinder, Again, unless you're really married to the M system, I would probably advise you to look at the SL system because the EVF on those cameras is just incredible and it's built in. Plus you get all of the other features and bonuses of the SL system, whereas this is still a fully manual camera. You're gonna be manually focusing everything. The EVF doesn't just give you the SL2 in an M body. That's not what this does, but it is helpful in certain environments. So whether or not it's gonna be worth it to you, ultimately that's gonna come down to your own needs. But I think if you have trouble focusing with the rangefinder, or if you just like being able to compose through the lens, even just in certain environments, it can be helpful. And again, I've only had this for about a week, so I can't say definitively whether or not this is worth picking up. It's really gonna come down to the person. I'm glad I have it in case I need it, although I'll be honest, I haven't just been leaving it on the camera. I kind of thought, I was like, well, it's small, it's not that big on top of the camera, I'll just leave it there and if I ever decide to use it, it's there, and if not, I can still use my rangefinder even with this attached. However, I just haven't been doing that. It's been mostly just in the pouch, in the camera bag, in case I need it. Uh, but day to day, carrying the camera around, I just vastly prefer using the rangefinder and uh, just using the M like an M uh, just feels right. Now, only a few days with the camera, I don't have a ton of different scenarios or use cases to share from, but I've been more than happy with all of the files I've gotten out of the camera. Um, as a matter of fact, the day the camera arrived, I took it into town and shot some photos of Molly's running club. She recently started a running club here in town that meets in Chillicothe twice a week. It's been insane and awesome to see just how much it's grown in such a short amount of time. Her and her friends just finished a 150 mile relay race. Uh, it was insane they were running 24 hours straight like through the night through the woods in the pouring down rain uh, very proud of her for that and uh, I absolutely have no interest in it so I go to the run club and I take photos of everybody running there that they can use and share um, and me and Jean just walk around and take photos it's a good time but as I continue to use this camera more and more, I'm going to have plenty of photos and thoughts to share in the upcoming videos. And if there's anything specific to this camera that you'd like to see, whether it be camera tests or just using it in different environments, let me know any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments down below. I will try to cover as much as I can on the M11 monochrome here on the channel. As a matter of fact, now things are warming up and we're outside a lot more often. I should be taking this camera to some pretty fun places very soon and hopefully we'll have some prints available from this camera very soon. All of that will be found on my website that was made with today's sponsor, Squarespace. I first launched mattdayphoto.com almost a decade ago, and I did that with Squarespace way before they were ever a sponsor on this channel. I didn't even have this channel at the time. They've just always been the best all-in-one place to build a website. A couple of years ago, I self-published my book, Friend of Mine, and I was able to sell that directly on mattdayphoto.com. I didn't have to link any kind of third-party site or anything. I was able to do everything directly from my own site. Keeping track of the inventory, being able to control the shipping costs depending on where the books were actually being shipped, everything was super seamless and easy to use and that goes the same for their website building tools. Drag and drop templates that are fully customizable with award winning customer service that are always there to help. Sell books, sell zines, sell digital products, whatever it is you might need, everything is built directly into their service so you don't have to go anywhere else. It's all in one neat package. It's super easy to use. If you want to get signed up for Squarespace, you can try it out for yourself entirely free at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com 
com slash Matt Day. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you to everybody for tuning into this video. Again, if you have any thoughts or anything you'd like to see in the upcoming videos featuring the M11 monochrome, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for today. So I love you all very much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.